I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone at Wake Up America Media Network. I am visiting today with Sailor Storm, romance novelist. Welcome, Sailor. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> nice to be here. Let's talk about your latest book, the one that we've got right out here, Sue's... Sue's Seduction. Mm -hmm. It's the first book in a trilogy. And my character, Susan Kent, uh, is 55 years old, Okay. very miserable. She's divorced, overweight, bitter, oh. lonely. Oh. And she's invited to be, participate in a clinical trial for an anti-aging product. Oh, that's interesting. And uh, over the following months, she goes from being 55 to 20. <gasps> Oh my goodness. She gets hired as a model and her whole life changes. I would guess so. What a lot of fun. This is a great premise. <laughs> it's actually, it's a real product that's, that will be coming out on the market in our lifetime. Oh my goodness. They're working on it as we speak. Oh wow. So it's kind of science fiction, but not really. It's science fiction now. It may not be science fiction in the future. Wow. So that means that we can get younger and younger. Absolutely. Interesting. What led you to becoming an author? I always thought I would write books, uh, but I thought they'd be children's books. And one day I was getting ready to have an initial consultation with a divorce attorney. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he, he kept me waiting in his very fancy office for mm -hmm. about a half hour, and my mind wandered. Okay. And I thought, uh, I felt like a character in a romance novel. So the, for, the idea for a chapter sort of unraveled right then and there, and I didn't know what to do with it. Okay. And several months later, I was hiking, and the whole book just came into my head. Oh, my goodness. And that's the, as they say, the rest is history. That's right. The <laughs> ideas just kept flowing after that. Now, I notice a similarity, and I'm sure you've been told this before. You look more than a little bit like Sharon Stone, and I understand that you also spent a lot of time as a lookalike. Yes, I was a, a lookalike for Sharon Stone for eight years. Oh, my goodness. How did that come about? Uh, my whole <laughs> life, everyone told me I looked like somebody. When I was a little girl, it was Veronica Lake, and then it was Sybil Shepherd, then it was Vanna White, <laughs> and when I got to be in my 30s, it was Sharon Stone, and that stuck. And my friends uh, were bothering me to, you know, send my resume into one of those lookalike agencies. Was this kind of the era of basic instinct? Is that when this was kind yeah, of happening? Yeah, well, actually before that. Okay. And so just to get them off my back, I sent my photo in to a lookalike agency with a fake resume. Okay. And I said that I um, practiced crossing and uncrossing my legs, <laughs> and I collected ice picks. And the next thing I knew, I was hired, and I was flying around the country um, with other lookalikes. And you also even did a photo shoot with the Ladies Home Journal. Yes, I won a lookalike contest, again, at my friend's prompting. And there were, I don't know, 20 of us lookalikes that were flown to New York, and uh, we were in Ladies Home Journal and, and interviewed by Entertainment Tonight. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Did you have fun doing it? Oh yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Tell me a story that was probably most memorable of your lookalike years. I, I used to stay at a little boutique hotel in San Francisco quite mm -hmm. frequently, and Sharon Stone started staying there. And when she would check in, the staff would ask her where Zach was. Zach was my baby <laughs> at the time, and she thought they were all nuts. She had no idea what they were talking about. And finally, she eventually just said, I left him at home. Because she, did, she didn't know who Zach was. The so. staff thought you looked more like Sharon Stone yeah, than Sharon Stone. That's what they told me later. <laughs> yeah, Very confusing for them. <laughs> I understand that you actually have more male readers than female hosts. Well, I mean fans, you know. I do. How, how does that happen? I think it's because of the suspense in, mm -hmm. in my books, and I'm sure that the sex you know, <laughs> doesn't hurt either. Well, I've read them, and I think the sex is kind of nice there, too. <laughs> they're, they're really enjoyable. I, I've started from the beginning and going forward. This is your fourth, but you've got a fifth one coming the out then soon? Yes, the fifth one is coming out, the second in the Sue's Seduction Trilogy, um, and th that's coming out in September. For Christmas, we have a little trivia book, a pocket book of all the trivia that I post on Facebook every day about love. Okay. And then uh, I have a thriller coming out in March. Oh my goodness, that sounds like a lot of, boy, you are very prolific, aren't you? I am also working on a, f a fairy tale and another thriller. Oh, I love it, I love it. Well, I can't imagine what more fun it would be than to writing fiction and, and romance. You mix up According to where I've read on your bio, you like to take reality 
a piece of reality and you know, mix it up with fantasy and mm -hmm. kind of see where it comes out. It can be you know, kind of twisted that way. <laughs> so you're telling me that you've got a lot of basis of, of real, um, not maybe Sailor Stone, but real people that you've known, real places that you've been to? Yes, most of the places I've been to that I write about and there, there is a lot of reality. Um, some of the stories are based on truth and some of them are complete fabrication, but usually there's a there's a mixture. My characters are usually a combination of two or three people. So some of your friends might recognize themselves? A lot of people <laughs> think they recognize themselves, but they're, they're, they're wrong. I better be careful. <laughs> I won't put you in a book unless you piss me off. Oh dear. <laughs> well, thank you for spending time and visiting with me. It's been grand. And you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon. And again, I am Diane Marie Collins, and you have been in the DM Zone. We like to interview fun and interesting people from authors to celebrities to almost celebrities or soon to be celebrities. Don't forget, you are in the DM Zone on Wake Up America Media Network. Come back soon.